What's up guys, this is Caleb here from SRK Cycles and you are watching Tips from a Salesman. All right guys, so today we're gonna talk about the topic of financing. Now, I guess in an ideal world, you're all buying your bikes cash. It's a toy, so not having a loan on it's pretty awesome. Uh, but that's gonna kind of play into our topic today. The first disclaimer I think I wanna say is that I'm not necessarily pro financing your motorcycle. I'm just saying if that's what you're going to do, these are gonna be best practices for doing so. Tip number one, when it comes to financing, the number one thing you need to do is figure out your budget before you go into the dealership. If you go into the dealership saying, I know exactly what I want my payment to be. That's like blood in the water for most salesmen. Most guys are gonna try and stretch your payments out, figure out how much money you can put down, try and finagle a whole bunch of stuff just to get any bike you want into that payment range. Don't worry as much about what your payment's gonna be as much as it is how much you wanna spend total on the price of the bike. And that doesn't mean you just say, okay, I wanna spend 10 grand, I don't care about the payment. That means you go online to an online calculator you take, well, you figure out your credits, what your credit score might be in. You figure out average interest rates if you were to get it from a credit union. That, that's another topic we'll be talking about later in the video, but you figure out your, what your rate could be, and then you kind of go into a loan calculator. And on bikes, I don't usually recommend you doing more than like 36 to 48 months, 60 months, 72, 84 months. Those are long terms. And you're gonna pay a lot of interest over the course of that loan. But you know, if you, if you set it up at a 36 month calculator, you know, $5,000 in your payments, $150 a month, that sounds feasible to you. You know what your payment's gonna be, and you know overall what you wanna spend on the price of a bike. If you go into a dealership and you say, you know, I wanna spend $150 on a bike a month, instead of saying my budget's five grand, what they're gonna do is they're gonna go in and they're gonna try and put you in a $10,000 bike and stretch your payments out as long as they possibly can. So I, that, that's tip number one, know exactly what your budget is if you're gonna finance and don't just tell them what you want your payment to be. Tip number two guys, there's that old you know saying that what's the best price if I pay cash? I guess in some scenarios that can work uh, if you're buying a bike or a car, any automobile and it's been on the lot and it's on the lot because of its, its, its age or its um, mileage or you know because they can't get a lot of people financing for it then obviously paying cash is gonna get you the best deal on that vehicle if they can't sell it because most people can't get approved for it or most people don't want it. But 80, 90% of the time, they are not going to look at a cash deal versus a finance deal as more of a lucrative deal. All it is is it's just easier. However, most dealerships make a lot of money on the back, what they would call the back end of a purchase, which is obviously the financing. So no when you go into a dealership that if you finance, that's kind of along the route that they probably want you to go. So if that's the case, they obviously are probably gonna want you to use their banks because they make money when you use their banks. We're actually kind of in the minority of that. I, we don't really make any money when you guys use us. There's some referral stuff, but we don't make any percentage points. It's one of those deals where most dealerships get, a, they, they submit the rate, they submit your information to a bank, they get a whole bunch of rates back, and then what they do is they see what you want your payment to be, and they see what you think your rate might be, and then they try and you know figure out how high they can mark that rate up. There's obviously stipulations, but they see how high they can mark that rate up so that they can make a little bit of money off the financing of the deal. So when you go into a dealership, know exactly what you can get from your bank and know exactly what interest rate you're gonna be able to get if you submitted the loan yourself. I know this is gonna require a little bit of work on your end, however, it's gonna be the best way for you to know if they're taking advantage of you or you're not. It's no longer the days where, you know, they're just wanting to get it gone. They're gonna to wanna to make as much money as they possibly can. And obviously the financing is gonna be the most lucrative deal for you or for them. It's not a hassle. So financing one, they're making more money. And two, make sure you know your rate, what your rate can be because they are going to try and mark that rate up. So obviously have some type of idea so you know if you're getting a good deal or not. Guys, the third tip I have for you is as much as you possibly can, never, ever, ever, ever be in a, be in a rush if you're going to finance a bike. Most of you guys are going, if you, let's put it this way, most of you guys, if you were paying cash, if you had $5,000 cash in your pocket and you were buying a $4,000 or $5,000 motorcycle, you would take your time finding the cleanest, 
most perfect, best bike for you within your budget because that's gonna be a big chunk of money that you're paying out. You're gonna feel that pain of losing four or $5,000. You're trading it for a bike. You want that bike to be as, in the best shape possible. For some reason, there's a little bit of a switch in our brains when we finance, we kind of just look at it as a payment. And so what can happen is you can make extremely, extremely r irrational decisions. Tip number three is definitely going to be Take your time when you're deciding to finance a bike. I know it's super easy. A salesman might come out and just be like, you know, for 200 bucks a month, that's what you want to spend. We can get it done. You can ride the bike home away today. I wouldn't jump on anything too quickly. Obviously do your research with the bike, but in addition to that, do your research with the financing. Know what your rates are going to be. If you're looking at banks, most dealerships are going to use a couple different sources, but know what your interest rate would be if you got it through a credit union. Obviously this excuse excludes some people with lower credit. You might be forced to, to get a higher interest rate loan. I probably wouldn't recommend that, but that is a possibility. But if you can get, if you work with a credit union, you're always going to get better rates through a credit union. You're always going to get a better rate probably through your bank because the dealership's probably going to use some type of power sports lender. That's probably going to have a little bit higher of an interest rate, but they kind of go off of the idea that it's quick, it's easy, it's perfect for you. It's easy just to get in the bike right then and there. Um, and if that's what you want, if that's the convenience, then obviously I, I can't take you away from that. But my tip to you would be, don't just buy it because it's convenient at that moment. Obviously think of it in the way of if you had the cash, if you're spending the cash, which ultimately you are, if you're spending the cash, what would you have purchased regardless of what your payment would be? You wouldn't be concerned with it at that point because you'd be buying the whole thing outright. So definitely take your time, make sure you don't get just too ahead of yourself and you're just signing things you didn't even know you'd be signing. Uh, tip number four for you guys that have with your financing kind of goes a little bit off the other video that we posted. These are things that I would put, I would consider putting into my financing. If you are gonna be financing, like I said, sometimes it's a good idea to add a warranty just so you don't have anything pop up with your payment and you don't have a boat anchor sitting in your backyard for the next two years. So, so when you're rolling things into your financing, obviously I always recommend you can put as much money as you physically can down. That's gonna eliminate the risk that the bank has for financing you. It might get you a better rate. It also too is going to eliminate you being underwater on that thing that you're purchasing. If you need to get rid of it, you can always get your money back out of it. So I would definitely, I mean, a warranty is something I would consider. I, I don't know a lot about the other add-ons, uh, but a warranty is definitely something I would consider. The things not to roll into your financing, I would not roll any upgrades into your financing. Adding the $2,000 worth of Harley-Davidson accessories is not going to add any value to your motorcycle. And all you're doing is making your loan payment bigger and the price of your bike stays the exact same. So if your bike's worth 12, you paid 15, you put $2,000 more worth of products on it. At first you were $3,000 negative equity on your bike, now you're $5,000 negative equity on your bike. The chance you're gonna find some guy on Craigslist that likes exactly what you like and all of the skulls you had Harley Davidson paint on it is pretty low. I would not recommend rolling any type of accessories into your loan. The other thing I would definitely not recommend you roll into your loan is any type of motor clothes. I know that a lot of dealerships will throw motor clothes and accessories. You can finance your helmet, your jacket, your pants, everything in there. Those things are obviously things you're never gonna get your money back out of. And what you're doing is you're paying interest on clothing. It's basically a giant credit card at that point. I probably would not recommend you do that. Thanks for watching guys. That was some tips from a salesman slash somebody at a dealership on financing. There's a lot of different options out there. A couple main takeaways are just gonna be know what you can spend, not just your monthly payment. Know overall what you can spend. Know what your interest rate is. And uh, just be patient guys, because if you're gonna be financing a bike, you don't wanna get yourself in trouble and underwater. Thanks a ton for watching guys.